Act. It all started when I was in grade two and at the time I didn't really have like I had friends but I would be friends with everybody kind of thing like just being myself playing with everybody on the playground kind of thing but there was this one girl named Kareen who always caught my attention it's so funny because I've seen her play on a it sounds like it sounds like I'd be a lesbian kid or something but I'm that was never the case. I just always wanted to be friends with this girl named Kareen. Um so I would literally try to like talk to her, try to play with her, try to follow her everywhere she went kind of thing. And Kareen did not want to be my friend. Like she didn't want to play with me. Like she kept saying, "Leave me alone, leave me alone," you know. Um, say I'm annoying and stuff leave me alone um, I'm gonna tell my mom on you or I'm gonna tell on you you keep bothering me why you keep following me kind of things so yeah that was the relationship it looked like I was just like not, I wouldn't say stalking but like I was obsessed with having Kareen as my friend and she just was not she was not having it like she did not want to be my friend um, we had this group called exploratives at school where all the students like get broken down into different groups and um i ended up being in kareen's group um that was so funny like she was extremely angry <laughs> when she found out that i was in her group but i mean i was happy like i was so happy um we got to play together we got to explore together in our groups it was fun and also, in order to sign in into these explorative groups at school, we would have to give our information, so like our phone number. But anyways, we had to like give our um, phone number or whatever. So this is how me and Kareen's friendship actually kind of grew. So Kareen didn't like hate me in like a mean way. It was just, it was a funny way. Like she didn't, she didn't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but like, she didn't hate me. It was just I was kind of annoying to her, I guess, because um, I always wanted to play with her. I always wanted to be around her kind of thing. So when Kareem was giving her number out to the teacher, I ended up overhearing her number. And my memory was like A1. Like I remembered this girl's number and went home and literally called her the same day. So yeah, so that same night I called Kareen and she was like, how'd you get my number? Da -da -da. Like, this is impossible. Like, I never gave you my number. I, I would not want to give you my number kind of thing, you know? And I fun, like I told her that during Exploratives, when you were giving your teacher to your number to the teacher, I overheard your phone number and I just had that great memory. That's how you know I always want Kareen to be my friend. I don't know. There was nothing special or anything. I just I just wanted to be friends with Kareen. Like, I don't know what it was, but I wouldn't leave this girl alone. And, like, I memorized her number. I'm a grade two memorizing this girl's full number for just hearing it one time. And bringing it home in my brain um, the same night and giving Kareen a call. And she was, like, so shocked. And it was hilarious because... Yeah, we became friends ever since, and it's crazy how that worked. We became out. friends after that, and then um, as the years went on, I think grade five, grade six, kind of thing, um, we were still friends. Um, Kareen, I don't know if you guys remember this, but if you remember MSN, drop a comment down below, okay, and let me know because MSN was a popular um, chatting website online where you would chat to your friends and you could write statuses and it was like the hottest thing ever so kareen used to literally like sometimes i wouldn't have access to a computer because i'd be at home and like my computer would be 
not working or slow or something. So I'd call up Korea and be like, hey, like, can you go on my MSN for me and start talking to people? Like, and she literally did that. BFF goals, okay? Like, she literally came through, dropped whatever she was doing, and went on my MSN for me and started talking to people. Like, it over like, the years, like, our friendship grew. We went to prom together. I'm gonna put a picture right now of us going to prom. Um, we did so many things together. We went on trips together. We went to meet. <laughs> we all like we went to the same schools like same elementary school same middle school and same high school so chanel and my friendship we started off as um i think she hated me as well um she did say that i started to form our friendship by bullying her um just or teasing i would say teasing it would be a better word um, I would tease her about liking a certain guy on the playground or whatever, and I would just keep teasing her all day. I'll be like, you like whoever his whatever his name is. And I kind of remember that. I kind of remember doing something like that, but I used to bother her. Like, no, I used to hate that. And um, I don't know, just like Kareen, like I never gave up on Chanel either. Like, I just knew Chanel had to be my friend. Like, and it so turned out that Chanel's family, like, her grandpa and my grandpa is besties, like they're best friends. So it's like, they're, so it's like they're already family friends that I didn't even know of. So like, honestly, like, shout out to Chanel for accepting me as her friend because I know it's hard to like be a friend to a person that teases you on the playground and stuff. And yeah, so that's how me and Shen met. Me and Chanel, we call her Shen. Yeah, I love, I love Chanel. Like. I love her. She she's such a vibrant person. Her soul is beautiful. Like she laughs a lot. Like she's very open. Like she's one of those people that are just really open and stuff like that. So I honestly I can say I have the best friends. Like I don't know like I I don't know where to find friends like that. Like they're I don't know. These are just friends that you have to hold on to because honestly, like I love my I friends. couldn't replace them with nobody else. Like, I don't want any other friends like them because I don't think there's any like them who's genuine. Like, these girls nowadays, they're more like, they'll set you up or they'll do some shady so something, like something shady. And like, you think you and them are good, but then they do something behind your back out of spite or they do something because they hate you or something. No, like my friend Chanel and Kareem, they're not like that. Like, their soul and like, they're just, they're just different humans. Like, I don't know what it is, but... I love my friends, man. I'm so grateful. I'm so lucky to have them. And yeah, Shen, me and Shen, we go out. We go out. We, you know, we went to a lot of parties in our young age, man. We're still, you know, living life to it, to its fullest. Like, you know, we're still living it up and stuff. And um, yeah, that's how me and Shen met. On the playground. And um, yeah, man, like, I love Chanel. She's she's an amazing person. Like, she will. she's that person that... She will vibe with anybody and like I guess she couldn't I don't know I guess she just started to vibe with me after I would tease her about this guy she liked on the playground like now she just I don't know she just she's just like you know what let me just be this girl's friend and here we are 17 years later so I love I love my fam you know that's my fam so yeah like we literally grew up together and like honestly here we are 17 years later like when i talk about bff friendship goals like goals for real like we grew up together like they're not i don't even consider cream my friend like she's my sister like all day like because like when you grow up with someone your whole life it's kind of like that's your sister especially because i'm the only child like i'm the only child and like i look to cream and my other friend Chanel as like a best friend sisterly type of love right there so I just want to say make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up make sure you like comment and subscribe to join the love gang family 
you guys can subscribe for free okay when you subscribe it's for free for those who don't know so make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and there's a little bell beside the subscribe button make sure you tap that so you can get notified right away whenever I post a video and you can join the squad and we'll just grow together guys we'll support each other we'll love each other and you guys will see more content so make sure you guys stay tuned and share this video right and next time love gang I'll see you guys later